you have this community and you have these resources here to really move into like an international community of scientists. The professors always make so much time for students. This is one of the most beautiful campuses I, I've seen and certainly one of the most beautiful in Canada. We're a little bit of a gem here. The Department of Physics and Engineering Physics has four main research themes. Condensed matter physics and material science, plasma physics, space and atmospheric science, and subatomic physics. There's theoretical and experimental work in each of those areas. We are one of the very few places that have a combined uh, group that has both atmospheric and space physics combined in one institute. So we have a really strong instrument focus, plus we also have this really nice atmospheric and space uh, combination and those two research areas are, are starting to move closer and closer together. We're trying to understand how the atmosphere is affected by space because it does influence climate and so it's nice that we can work here to try and, and bring those research areas closer together. At the undergraduate level we are likely the only department in Canada possibly the only department in North America that offers an opportunity for our undergraduate students to fully immerse themselves with a research group and work alongside faculty and postdocs and graduate students in the research labs for a full term and not take courses on the side, but really to research 24-7. And I think that's unique. It's a perfect size of a department. It's big enough to offer all the interesting courses and electives and graduate courses that students want to take, but it's also small enough so that students can really feel part of a departmental family. We uh, characterize and model and synthesize uh, new materials. And first of all, we have the Canadian Light Source. Uh, that is a very unique situation because very few universities have their own synchrotron. And it's also Canada's largest research investment ever. Synchrotron allows to tune in to whatever specific electron and whatever kind of material I, we would like to study and only get specific signals from those electrons. So this is a very unique and in-depth way of understanding the outer electrons, or as we call it, the electronic structure of materials. In terms of the plasma physics uh, offerings that we have and the, and the things that we work on, we, we have a quite an extensive lab. Uh, plasmas, plasma physics is a broad field. Uh, it ranges from even uh, space plasma physics, but it also covers um, nuclear fusion. Uh, we have uh, Canada's only tokamak fusion device. We've got a small scale reactor in, in our plasma physics laboratory. Um, and then we have the materials processing plasmas, so we have quite a range of, of things. A student comes here, um, and uh, even though they're in Saskatoon, you know, they've got the world coming to them to work with them and I think that's another great feature in terms of broadening their perspective about what's possible in science. Saskatoon is a, is a very beautiful city. It's a very friendly city. It's a very sunny city. We have a lot of sunny days throughout the year and uh, we have parks in every neighborhood and it's also a still growing city. It's still a boom town. When I did my undergrad here, I got to know some of the professors and, and their passion really shines through and it's really easy to stay motivated and, and, and work on a project and get some research done when your supervisors are, are highly motivated people. I don't just feel I'm a student, I mean, I, I think it's the really, the good thing is we work together to solve a problem. That's the really the good thing I enjoy. You have this community and you have these resources here to really move into like an international community of scientists and I, I, I just feel so empowered almost to be here and to be able to get the things that I need to get where I want in life. The character of the department has taken on the character of the people of Saskatchewan. And I think that's, you know, there's a couple of things that stand out for me there. One is uh, uh, Saskatchewan people are, are not afraid to work hard. They're, they're, not, they're not frightened of difficult projects and difficult challenges. It's a matter of rolling up your sleeves and getting the job done. And I think the other, other piece of the Saskatchewan identity, and, and which is part of the identity of our, our department, is looking after each other. Um, when somebody needs help, we're, uh, we're always there to help each other. 